Right now it's sakura season, so the cherry blossom season here in Japan. So I've got my bicycle here and I'm going to play tourist. So come play tourist with me and let's bike around our neighborhood and check out the cherry blossoms. Right back down, but you love lifts me back to solid ground. This is our local temple. Look at how beautiful this is. Now there's a park, a little bit of a ride from our house, so I want to go and check that out. It has a big red bridge and um, it's normally pretty beautiful this time of year, so let's go and check that out. So on my way to this other park, I forgot about this park that has some really beautiful um, sakura by the looks of it, so let's go and check that out. This is the riverbank um, that crosses a bridge that we cross almost every day. So there's sakura all along this bank. And today was a perfect day for me to go look at the flowers because it fits with my training and it's a weekday. So uh, there won't be as many people about as opposed to the weekend. Um, we're still only halfway um, to the park, but I'm enjoying stopping at all these places along the way. You see, this isn't completely full bloom yet. There's still a lot of closed blooms, so it'll probably take a couple more days to be in full, full bloom. Um, but by then, I probably won't have stop, time to stop and cruise and appreciate it like I can today. So it'll just be me driving past when they're in full, full bloom. One thing that really struck me when I first saw them was that they're not as pink as you think they are. So the buds, see how they look pink on the, the outside there, but a lot of the time the fl flowers are actually a lot like whiter, not as, as rosy pink. There are some varieties that have the really pink hues to them, but um, for the most part, at least the ones in our neighborhood are more white. I actually really just want to stay here and sit on the riverbank and cruise because there's right now I am the only person here um, but I'm really curious to see the park so let's go there instead. Got Chikuha here on the side of the road by the Sakura. I'm going to send that to my mum. I've just stopped at one of the parks it's near the park that I'm going to and this is just so beautiful and it's so awesome that there's hardly any people here. Let me show you. Look at this. It's like a ring of cherry blossoms. This is a kid's park. There's a few kids playing, but I think it's still Oh, I think it's borderline um, school's just finishing so there aren't many kids here 
there's not many families, so it's nice and, and quiet. But um, we're getting closer to the big park now. Let's go and check it out. So other than the fact that it's my active recovery day, so I thought I'd go for a bit of a cycle around my neighborhood. This is another reason why I cycled. Because when it's sakura season, the parking gets packed and there's traffic all along the outside because people want to come and see the cherry blossoms. So I'm gonna find somewhere to lock my bike up and go for a walk around the park. So this is the park with the red bridge. Look at this. I can see the photographers gathering over there, so I'm guessing that's going to be the best vantage point, so we should go check that out. Everyone's kind of congregating over here. Oh yeah, I can see why. Okay, let me show in a minute. So apparently this looks like the best place to view from. So one of the yearly things that people do here in Japan is called Ohanami. Even the cherry blossoms are flowering like this they'll come and have picnics or friends will come and drink sake and get you know get tipsy get drunk or just um, celebrate with friends and family underneath the sakura trees just to appreciate the the beauty of the, the sakura um, and today there's a few people out but it's it's such a nice day and today is it's kind of overcast so it's actually I feel like it's a really beautiful day perfect day to be watching because it's not too hot so it's such a nice it's really pleasant day there's no breeze um, in the air right now and it's just a really beautiful day to appreciate the beautiful sakura I decided to park up with my backpack and just cruise and appreciate the sakura for a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of study and read and yeah, just bliss out on the sakura. So a lot of people have trouble timing um, you know the time of their trip to Japan to catch the cherry blossoms and that's because every year they have predictions about when around about when uh, the cherry blossoms are going to be in full bloom but they can never guarantee the exact dates because you can't control the weather the other thing is the cherry blossoms are only in full bloom for maybe a couple days and usually there's it's uncanny usually every year there's a big rain that'll knock down or the rain or the wind that'll knock down all the cherry blossoms shortly after full bloom. So it's really difficult to try and time or plan a trip to be able to catch the cherry blossoms in full bloom. Because of the pandemic, this is the third and probably the final uh, sakura season that is gonna be so empty, like how it is, because of the fact you can't have, they're not having tourists, they haven't had tourists and they're not having tourists yet um, in Japan. So my advice is if you live in Japan 
and you're a foreigner or if not but if you in the, are in Japan and have the opportunity to go and check out the sakura and the cherry blossoms by all means get out there and enjoy it because my prediction is from 2023 onwards we're probably never going to see anything like this again in our lifetime and um, where the borders are closed off and so many locations uh, you know there's, there's hardly any people so yeah if you're out there and you're, you're living in japan go out and see how beautiful this country is at least go see the, the sakura if you're planning a trip to japan and your whole focus of your trip is to see the sakura or the tree blossoms and you have a couple weeks my advice to you is to start from the south of Japan and work your way up and let me explain why there are different climates um, without throughout the whole of Japan I'll try and put a little photo in here so that you can see the cherry blossoms actually start at different times um, of the season so you, you'll find in the south southern locations they'll start earlier and as you go north until you get to Sapporo, Hokkaido, that's that'll be the last, and so that gives you a window of opportunity to see the sakura. And if you, you know, we're really passionate about seeing them, you could actually go like travel up the whole country and go see them at the different locations at the different times. So that would be my recommendation if you have the time and the resources, book your trip. Um, you know, with a window within a window of a couple weeks around the predictions and make your way up the country, I think would be the best. And then document it and show everybody because that would be a trip of a lifetime, just traveling up Japan to see all the different sakura. The season is so fleeting that it's not quite full bloom yet. Ensign gets back in just less than a week. So it's Monday now, he gets back on Saturday and he's likely to actually miss the full bloom. So I think the full bloom, it was predicted for yesterday-ish around our area but it's a little slower. So it's probably gonna to happen tomorrow or the day after. And then I think by the weekend, it's gonna be um, just past the peak. So that's how fleeting the, the peak of the season is. It's amazing. So it really is something to see if ever you have the opportunity. Thanks for joining me on my little um, soccer day adventure today. I'm about to pack up my gear and head home. Um, it's been a nice little day, nice little adventure, nice little recovery day. I think I'll put this on my YouTube channel. So if you're new to my YouTube channel or you're watching it here, please like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments or message me if you want uh, me to show you anything in particular and when it comes to Japan, because I'm really not sure what content to put out here, but I know that there is a lot considering we're foreigners living in Japan. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.